Hello and welcome to another episode of Ancient Inventions, where we explore the amazing creations of ancient civilizations. Today we are going to talk about the float-type clepsydra, or water clock, invented by C. Tezebius of Alexandria in Greece in the 3rd century BC. What is a clepsydra? A clepsydra is a device that measures time by the flow of water. The word clepsydra comes from the Greek words kleptin, meaning to steal, and hydor, meaning water. The idea is that water is stolen from one container and transferred to another at a constant rate, indicating the passage of time. There are two main types of clepsydra, outflow and inflow. In an outflow clepsydra, water drips out of a vessel through a small hole at the bottom, and the time is read from marks on the inside or outside of the vessel that show the water level. In an inflow clepsydra, water flows into a vessel through a small hole at the top, and the time is read from a float that rises with the water level. Who was C. Tezebius? C. Tezebius was a Greek physicist and inventor who lived in Alexandria, Egypt, around the 3rd century. BC. He is considered to be the first great figure of the ancient engineering tradition of Alexandria and the father of pneumatics, or the study of air pressure. C. Tezebius was the son of a barber, and he inherited his father's shop. He was fascinated by mechanics and hydraulics, and he used his spare time to experiment with various devices using compressed air and water. He invented several machines that used air pressure to produce sounds or motions, such as force pumps, an air-powered catapult, and a hydraulis, or water organ. C. Tezebius also improved the design of the clepsydra, making it more accurate and reliable. He wrote several books on his inventions and discoveries, but unfortunately none of them have survived. We only know about his work from references by later authors such as Vitruvius and Hero of Alexandria. How did C. Tezebius improve the clepsydra? The main problem with the clepsydra was that it was not very accurate or consistent. The flow of water depended on many factors, such as the size and shape of the hole, the pressure and temperature of the water, and the evaporation and leakage of water. As a result, the clepsydra would lose or gain time over long periods. C. Tezebius solved this problem by inventing a float-type clepsydra, which used a three-tier system to regulate the flow of water. The first tier was a large reservoir that supplied water to the second tier, which was the actual clepsydra. The second tier had a hole at the bottom that allowed water to drip into the third tier, which was a container with a float and a pointer. The pointer indicated the time on a scale on the wall. The genius of C. Tezebius' invention was that he used air pressure to balance the water pressure in the second tier. He connected a tube from the top of the second tier to an air chamber above the reservoir. As water flowed out of the second tier, air flowed in through the tube to fill up the space left by the water. This created an equal pressure on both sides of the hole at the bottom of the second tier, ensuring a constant flow of water regardless of how much water was left in the reservoir or in the second tier. C. Tezebius float-type clepsydra was much more accurate and reliable than previous models. It could measure time for up to 24 hours without needing any adjustment or maintenance. It was also more versatile and adaptable, as it could be calibrated for different seasons or latitudes by changing the size of the hole or adjusting the scale on the wall. Why was C. Tezebius float-type clepsydra important? C. Tezebius float-type clepsydra was one of the most advanced and sophisticated inventions of ancient times. It demonstrated the principles of pneumatics and hydraulics and paved the way for later developments in engineering and science. The float-type clepsydra was widely used in ancient Greece and Rome for various purposes. What were the uses of the clepsydra in ancient times? The clepsydra was used for many purposes in ancient times, such as astronomical timekeeping. The clepsydra was used to measure the length of the day and night and to determine the seasons and solstices. It was also used to observe the movements of the stars and planets and to calculate eclipses and other celestial phenomena. Religious sacrifice the clepsydra was used to time the rituals and ceremonies of various religions, such as the ancient Egyptian, Greek, and Roman cults. It was also used to mark the sacred hours and days of worship and to synchronize the prayers and offerings of different temples and shrines. Military affairs. The clepsydra was used to coordinate the movements and actions of armies and navies, such as marching, attacking, retreating, signaling, and encamping. It was also used to measure the duration of battles and sieges and to plan strategies and tactics. Court litigation timekeeping. The clepsydra was used to limit the speeches and arguments of lawyers and witnesses in courts of law. It was also used to ensure fairness and justice in trials and judgments, and to prevent corruption 
and bribery. Time allocation of water rights. The clepsydra was used to regulate the distribution and consumption of water in areas where water was scarce or valuable. It was also used to assign water quotas and fees to different users and groups such as farmers, merchants, households, and public facilities. Conclusion. The flow type clepsydra by C. Tezebius of Alexandria was a remarkable invention that revolutionized the measurement of time in ancient times. It was based on the principles of pneumatics and hydraulics, and it used a clever system of air pressure and water flow to achieve a constant and accurate timekeeping. It was widely used for various purposes in different fields of activity, such as astronomy, religion, military, law, and water management. It was also a source of inspiration and innovation for later inventors and engineers who improved its design and functionality. Thank you for watching this episode of Ancient Inventions. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. See you next time.